Welcome to That's Good Sports, I'm Brandon. My mom has a message for John Elway too, Perna. That message, please let my son, Brandon Perna, be your binocular guy. He keeps talking about it at family dinners, and we would appreciate it if you help shut him the fuck up by giving him this stupid job. Yeah, so suck it, Elway. Give me that job. Pretty sure that's how you gain dutiful employment in a Trump world. Anyway, yesterday, Von Miller's mom posted a scathing commentary about John Elway on Instagram in relation to the misinformation that Elway was considering trading Von Miller. Von's mom basically became a legend overnight, and I cordially invite her to come hang out with me and my mom while we all sip on boxed wine and have a talk about how much we love Von Miller, and then my mom can brag to Von's mom about all of my achievements. First place in the mile race in fifth grade, which I cheated to win, sorry Greg Valdez, fourth grade chipping and putting champion in golf class, yeah, I peaked in fifth grade, but by the end of the night, we will be the most powerful family in Colorado, not the Elways. <laughs> in the game of Colorado, you win or you live with dry skin. That's good, sports. Please, if my face doesn't repulse you, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Uh, also, we will get to the Von Miller stuff after a word from my sponsor, Manscaped.com. I'm manscaping expert and legend Brandon Perna, and I've been growing body gardens for about 20 years now. And what I've learned is if you want the tree to look bigger, you need to keep the bushes trimmed. To do that, having the right tools is a necessity. And that's why I ditched these dangerous shears long ago and ordered my products from manscaped.com with the promo code SPORT20. That's a weird sound to make in a forest. Manscaping should be easy and convenient. And with the lawn mower, which is waterproof for easy cleaning, you can keep things smooth, avoiding turning your tree into a prickly cactus. These trimmers are designed to help you achieve the intricacy of trimming a delicate bonsai tree, while also having the power to mow down the bush next to the great redwoods. And even if you don't need your tree to look bigger, whoever you are, Keeping a well-kept yard is the manly thing to do. It's also probably mandated by your HOA. So use my promo code SPORT20 and you'll get $20 off your first order at manscaped.com. John Elway and the Broncos have interviewed four head coaches, but all I want to discuss is Von Miller's mom sticking it to John Elway. Now, let me start by saying John Elway never said he was considering trading John Elway. Well, I, I, I mean Von Miller, I just pulled the John Elway. Now, Troy Rank on Twitter provided some clarity as to what his question was to Elway that sparked the inaccurate headline stating Elway has a massive hard-on for trading Von Miller to the drunkest suitor. Uh, probably not Jim Irsay, because he's sober now. Rank said on Twitter, clarifying, regarding Von Miller flap, I asked Broncos Elway from a conceptual standpoint, is Miller anchor going forward? Or do you consider radical, not in the way skaters or the Ninja Turtles say radical, radical moves as seen with other team's marquee guys, not Marquis Goodwin of the 49ers? He answered in a conceptual way. Question was to determine if rebuilding. I would not trade Vaughn. That was from Troy Rank on Twitter. That question Rank asked Elway in a press conference prompted Elway to say, I think we're going to visit all of that. I think we have to look at all the possibilities and get an evaluation of that. One thing that has to happen, we have to play better. Then he said some GME type shit and finished with, Vaughn, he had a good year this year. Can Vaughn play better? Yeah, I think Vaughn can play better. That's part of the new thing that comes in with the next coach. So really, absolutely nothing interesting there about Rank's question or John Elway's uh, answer to Rank's question. Now, Elway thinks the highest paid player on his team can probably play even better with the new head coach. That's what I took away. But if you've been paying attention to Broncos news this week, you know that the radio uh, 104.3 The Fan has been pushing the trade Von Miller headline harder than Michael Bennett pushes old ladies at the Super Bowl. And that is why this thing blew up into something silly. 
Now via Instagram, Von Miller's mom, AKA mom of the millennium, simply being a badass mom of the millennium said this in defense of her son. Not because he's my son, he's the main reason Denver won the Super Bowl. Well, I thought Cam Newton was actually the main reason the Broncos won the Super Bowl, but continue. Von's not the problem. The problem is Elway. Every QB he's brought in was a fluke. Oh, no, 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 she's not talking about you, Pepe. No, 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 not talking about you. He wants to half-ass pay the vets, but wants them to perform at a high caliber. She's right. To be fair, Von Miller has only made $90,948,219. That's it. He has no clue at drafting at any position. Uh, well, <laughs> he's pretty good at drafting edge rushers. He needs to work on an offensive line and QB. Trading Vaughn isn't the answer, but best of luck with that. Elway has wasted more money on QBs than any team in the NFL. Actually, I think his problem is he's been too cheap with QBs. And again, we're not, we're not talking about you, Peyton. Not no, 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 no. I get it's easier to blame Vaughn, but it's not him. Hashtag what up Dallas, hashtag send Jerry Joby's number. To which Von Miller released an official statement today saying, Mom, that's my boss. Now supposedly Derek Wolf and Demarius Thomas both liked Von Miller's uh, comment, which with Wolf still being on the team is the only thing that I've gleaned as a concern from this story. LA did trade DT to a playoff team, so I see why Demarius would be bitter. An injury finished DT season early, but I would be mad at the thought of having to work an extra week or two as well when it was clear as a member of the Broncos, he'd be done before January even started. I would like to say, I don't think anyone, including John Elway, is blaming Von Miller for anything other than being awesome. Second, I have to say, and I apologize in advance, Von, but hashtag what up Dallas? There are three teams that would break my heart if I saw Von on their defense. Dallas, New England, and Oakland. If you have problems with John Elway, uh, you, you're going to send him into the clown's den itself with Jerry Jones and Jerry World? I'm thinking about reporting Vaughn's mom to social services because that's child abuse as far as I'm concerned. I do get why Vaughn's mom is saying this though. And I'm not saying John Elway doesn't deserve criticism for his draft record and for some of the personnel moves he's made post Peyton Manning, but Vaughn's mom is pointing the finger in the wrong direction. This trade, this Von Miller trade shitstorm was started and flung all over our faces by 104.3 The Fan. The media whipped together this diarrhea milkshake and LA was forced to drink it up. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. It's not a milkshake you want to drink. John LA gets paid a shit ton of money to drink shit milkshakes. Von Miller gets paid a shit ton of money to play football and sometimes have to listen to Elway slurping up a shit milkshake and saying Von can play better. And Von's mom gets to say whatever the fuck she wants because she birthed Von Miller. Basically one of the best players in Broncos history. That is her right. The interesting thing though about all of this is Elway may have lost the confidence of many of the veteran players in the locker room. And this offseason is going to be the most significant one for John Elway and his future as a GM with the Broncos because he has to try and set this team up for sustained success again, which until you find a quarterback and a head coach is an insanely difficult thing to do. For a guy like Elway, who has had so much success in his life, his most difficult job is truly understanding what he sucks at and then finding the right people to do those things well. I feel like last year's draft was a step in the right direction. I hope this year's coaching search is also a step in the right direction. With the right moves and free agency and another good draft, Denver can be good again quickly. Reminder, if you think John Elway is bad, be thankful you're not a Bengals fan who just saw their team seriously consider Hugh Jackson with an interview for their head coaching position. Anyone who says the Broncos will suck next year no matter what, is an asshole. Anyone who says that they are one simple piece away from uh, success is simplifying the complexity of managing a football organization. But anyone who believes all that John Elway needs 
is a good binocular boy to get the Broncos back to the Super Bowl is on the right track. Thanks for watching another episode, emergency update of That's Good Sports. Uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, at Brandon Perna, if you care to follow me there. We've got playoffs coming up today. I'll also have a head coaching update for the Broncos video up tomorrow, I believe. Come back then.